Yeah, I didn't know, but once I found out what it was, I realized I, I am a visual thinker. And, uh, and I realized that's why there were times in my life where I could see a problem or I could see a solution, but I couldn't convince anybody to see what I was seeing. Yeah, if you just saw one. And uh, sometimes it would, a couple of times, it was like two years before I could, for I could show that what I was trying to say two years ago is really what happened, you know. What was one of the things that you figured out? Well, one time I roughed in the plumbing underground for a building and some of the plumbing was off. On one end it was off nine inches and toward the center it was off five inches and towards the other edge it was off three inches and on the far end of the building everything was perfect. I told my boss they moved the form boards and they said no that's crazy. I said no that's what happened. That is that has to be what happened. Yeah. Everybody laughed at me. They thought that was crazy. Yeah. So two years later at a Christmas party I saw the form carpenter foreman talking to the bosses over there yeah. and I walked up and without giving him warning because I had a few minutes to think about it and it was making me think how to handle the situation yeah. I said yeah you remember that time y'all came back the next day and moved the form boards nine inches because the building was out of square he said yeah I'm sorry about that we had to get paid I couldn't tell anybody because we had to get paid and if he'd have told that he messed us up it would have got back charged and all that yeah and i got him right in front of all the bosses to confirm my crazy story yeah what did they say then <laughs> they so agreed sorry. they patted me on the back and they laughed and they they, so sorry, right? yeah no 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 they just thought it was funny but to oh. me it meant a lot yeah but another time we built a Ritz Carlton Hotel and the circulating system did not work. And they started up the building, so they redesigned, they redesigned the whole thing. And uh, when the, my, the plumbing company, the owner gave me the drawing and said, this is how I want you to repipe the system. And I looked at it and I said, this isn't going to work. And I think I studied it overnight. And the next day I told him, this isn't going to work. He said, what do you mean? I said, what's going to happen is it's going to shoot 180 degree water throughout the building yeah. towards, the, towards the hotel rooms and scald everybody. And then when that hot water gets back to the mechanical room, it's going to sense that it's too hot and it'll shut down and start sending cold water through. And yep. so anyway, then when it senses it's too cold, it's going to start shooting 180 degree water. Nobody could see that. The engineer and the architect said, who are you? How, kind of like, how do you have the right to say this isn't going to work? My boss said, I'm not sure. He said, you might be right, but I think we have to trust the engineer and the architect. So I told him I didn't want to pipe it. I, I, I didn't want to do something that I knew was not going to work. So he put somebody else on it. A few weeks later, they called me up one evening uh, and said, we turned that system on last night. And I said, well, what happened? He said, exactly what you said. Shot 180 degree water, scalded everybody. But I realized I think that's because I could visualize. I could visualize.